Lifetime Achievement Award, and this really is some achievement. It's the holy grail of medicine, a cure for cancer. Growing up, identical twins Ray and Trevor Poles were two peas in a pod. They played together, schooled together, but age 18, they contracted TB together. I don't remember any of the bad side. I remember one or two rather attractive nurses. <laughs> <laughs> Who certainly didn't remember you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Months spent in hospital inspired them to train as doctors, and they went on to become medical marvels. Trevor, a pioneer in breast cancer treatment. The toughest part of the job is clearly when we lose patients, and that has probably driven me more than any other factor. And Ray, giving leukaemia patients a chance to survive. It's about helping people, and if, as it so happens, part of that is that they're cured of the disease, that's a bonus. When the twins started their work, all too often cancer was incurable. Most people, when they got a diagnosis of cancer, really started to think about booking a funeral. One of the things about leukaemia in those days is that um, initially all patients die with a median time of six weeks. Only a young man could go into a field like that because when I look back, I think, how crazy. It looked hopeless. Ray pioneered a way of successfully transplanting healthy bone marrow from one person to another to enable the body to fight the leukaemia itself. In 1973, he performed Britain's first ever successful bone marrow transplant. He was brave enough to try something new. And the impact of that today means that when you get a diagnosis of leukaemia, it isn't a diagnosis of death. Just across the corridor at the Royal Marsden, Trevor was matching his brother's brilliance. When I started as a, as a specialist uh, treating breast cancer, all patients had mastectomy and 50% would die of breast cancer. The surgery was as horrific as the diagnosis. It was brutal. Trevor was very much one of the pioneers in preoperative chemotherapy. It means the surgeon can no longer has to do a mastectomy. The woman can avoid mastectomy. And that's psychologically such a big thing for many women. But Trevor also set his sights on prevention, carrying out breakthrough trials on the drug tamoxifen, now one of the powerful weapons in the fight against breast cancer. We've doubled the survival of patients with breast cancer since then, doubled. I feel very lucky to be taking tamoxifen. I'm here because of him and his amazing team. After more than 100 years of dedication between them, aged 75, this dynamic duo are still not giving up the fight. Congratulations and thank you for making such a major contribution to the cancer journey and benefit so many patients in this country and around the world. I don't understand one word of what he does and he understands very little of what I do. <laughs> so we can't do any swappings. <laughs> Stage. We're honoured to be joined by our Prime Minister, David Cameron. Well, thank you. This really is one of the greatest nights of the year for our country. It's a moment when we celebrate and honour people in Britain whose courage and sense of duty really shines out. The Pride of Britain Awards define our country because they show the world who we really are. Now, many of tonight's winners will tell us that they're just doing their job or just doing the right thing, but what they're doing is saving lives and giving huge inspiration to others, and none more so than the winners of tonight's Lifetime Achievement Award. During more than 50 years in the service of others, these two heroes have dedicated their lives to the fight against cancer and given something extraordinary, not just to this country, but right around the world. They truly are the pride of Britain, and it's a great honour to present these Lifetime Achievement Awards to Trevor and Ray Pohl. It's quite 
an incredible thing. I, first of all, identify yourself, sir. Is Trevor this because Ray. you can't? <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. Trevor. Where are we in our fight against cancer? Well, it's a big fight. It's a difficult fight. Cancer is a really complex business. But we've made huge progress, and particularly over the last 20 years. We've got more to do, but now with the technology, now with all the collaboration and world cooperation, the global pressure that we're putting on solving this problem, I think we're going to knock it off very quickly. Oh. The, uh, the reason that things have really turned on their head in the last decade is the Human Genome Project. We now know the whole of the human gene pattern. And what we're doing now is we're looking at those genes, we're targeting the cancer genes, we're making drugs against those targets, and those drugs are not toxic like the old ones, they're making the body do a lot of the work. And I really think that in the next 10 to 15 years, we're gonna see more happening cancer than we've seen in the whole previous 2,000 years before. Yeah. That's my dream. And congratulations to our Lifetime Achievement Award, incredible Trevor and Ray Coles.